right, we just showed up. Kind of slept in a little bit, too much. But that's all right, because we were out here yesterday trying to figure out where to set the blind, and uh, couldn't get any birds to respond, and we didn't see any out in the fields. Um, so I didn't really know where to set the blind. Had a general idea maybe where they would be, um, but just no confident spots to put it. So um, anyway, we're out here now. They should still be on roost. Um, they're probably just getting ready to fly down, so the gobbling should be hot here pretty soon. Uh, so we're just kind of pulling around on the field edges right now, and we're just going to call um, out to the different blocks of woods that there might be a bird in and see if we get something to gobble. If we can, then uh, we'll run in quick and set up and get on them. So we got, it sounded like at least three or four birds lit up. They're back in a ways. Um, I'm almost positive they're probably roosting in the same trees that I shot um, my two birds last uh, December. So if you can find them in the fall, a lot of times you'll find them in the spring. So we're gonna get ready here and uh, head out. They're down there. Let's go.
they got turkeys out in front of us. There's this coyote that came straight from where those turkeys are, making all the noise. Came walking straight into us. Never could get a shot. He got through the brush. But, uh, Nelly about shot a coyote. Just didn't have a shot. all the way, circled back around and winded us, ran the other way.
so these birds are so grouped up right now. It's opening morning, March 25th, here in Nebraska. And uh, we had a couple of birds gobbling, but he just had so many hens with him, and they were just clocking up a storm. So I was kind of trying to compete a little bit, but those hens just went on their merry way, did what they were going to do, and they jumped and flew across the creek, and now we can see them out there about 150 yards, walking out into a cut corn field. So, we're going to back up and head back. Snow's gents chasing these birds. They're already out in the middle of the cornfield. The toms aren't going to respond to my call. He's got so many hens with him right now. I definitely don't want to run up on them and educate these birds that the sound that they were hearing in here was a couple of human beings with some bows. So, we're going to back up, head back to the truck. Pretty eventful opening morning. Had a coyote come in. Ellie almost shot the coyote really close. He came in to 30, 25 or 30 yards, but he was behind some brush and just didn't have a shot. Out of luck for this morning, but so much fun. So much fun. We'll be right back out here probably again tonight, locating, trying to figure out where these birds roosted again. I'm, I'm gonna assume that they roost in this same spot because this is where we heard them. Um, I came out here like Thursday night and uh, did some calling, just located them, and that's, this is exactly where they were. They roost in these, there's a big cottonwood tree right here. They roost in that cottonwood, and then they roost in all these cottonwoods right here. So, anyhow, headed back to get the pack. We moved up on these birds, so gonna get the backpack and get packed up and get out of here. We'd go to this local place called Greenfields for breakfast after turkey hunting. Sounds pretty good. 